Hello, my name is Autumn Gresset, and I am your host for Mission Community Nutrition. It's that time of year where sports fans become couch potatoes, and couch potatoes become sports fans. But when we eat on game day, we need to remember to eat healthy. On this episode, we will be going through how to adapt some of your favorite traditional game day recipes into healthy and nutritious options. Join us as we learn to make game day guacamole, a fresh vegetable platter with tahini ranch, delicious deviled eggs, nutritious seven layer dip, and cauliflower hot wings. Let's make our way virtually into the kitchen and get started. I would like to welcome back our chef, Scott Franklin. Scott has prepared the healthy and delicious meals on our previous episodes. It's game day and we are excited to see what he has in store for us. Thank you so much, Autumn. Today, we're gonna to be making game day guacamole. So let's jump right in. That happens to be one of my favorite foods. What makes this recipe so special, Scott? So we are gonna use a lot of fresh ingredients today. And like I always talk about, we always wanna use organic whenever we can. Luckily in this day and age, you can find organic ingredients everywhere. Today we have organic avocados, we have organic limes, we have uh, fresh cilantro, red onion, uh, some chopped tomatoes, some diced jalapeno, salt and pepper, but our secret ingredient today is going to be tahini. Is there a trick to removing the pulp of an avocado? Yes, there is a very easy trick to removing all the pulp from an avocado. So you take the avocado like this, there's usually a, a little stem right there, you pluck that off with your thumb, take your knife, Start it about halfway and just start it a little bit, get it going just a little bit. And you're going to run the avocado around the knife just like that, being careful not to cut yourself with the knife. At the end, you're gonna be able to twist the avocado just a little bit like that and remove it just like any other seed. So this big guy is the thing that everybody worries about. So you take the butt of your knife and you just put it in there just a little bit like that, just a little bit, and then you just make a little twist and it comes right out. Then you take a big spoon, go around the outside between the pulp and the skin, work it all the way out. And there you go, there you have it. Skin, pulp of an avocado. So from here, we are just going to combine all of our ingredients. What I typically do is you want a good mix of chunks of avocado and creamy avocado. A lot of that has to do with how ripe it is, but I try to just go along and cut these up like this, turn a little bit, and I'm getting these chunks right now. Okay, the next ingredient and you'll want to do this one fairly quickly, is a good squeeze of lime. What the lime's going to do, it's going to keep the avocado from turning brown, which is why you want it to be the next ingredient. And as I've shown you before, you take the lime and you squeeze it into your hand so if any seeds come out, they don't end up in your guacamole. Now, I'm just going to add ingredients. Cilantro. Diced red onions. Diced tomato. Diced jalapeno. Now you want to be really careful with jalapenos. We're going to talk about this for just a second. So anytime you touch a jalapeno, all the oils on the outside of the jalapeno that's, they're really, really hot. So you wanna be careful. Um, it's always great to wear gloves, but when you're finished, you wanna take the gloves off. What I do with these is I slice the jalapeno in half, and then you wanna take out all of the seeds and all of that membrane on the inside. This part is super, super hot. So you remove all of that. It usually comes right out. You're left with just that, and then you dice it up, and you're left with that. 
Now you can make this guacamole as spicy as you want. I would always recommend to put a little bit in there because it definitely, the heat gives you a little contrast to the smoothness of the avocado. We're gonna do a little bit more because I like a little spice. Do salt and pepper. Just a good coating. And then our secret ingredient is tahini. So now I'm gonna make the creamy part. And I'm gonna make it by mashing up the avocados. So I just go through with my fork and I mash. And as I mash, everything mixes all really good together. And some of those chunks come out a little bit softer. And I just keep going with this until I find the exact consistency that I want. And then I have guacamole. So we're always talking about ways to make these dishes healthier. Um, we have some examples of some chips that we can use that are uh, very, very healthy for you. Um, let me grab a bag real fast and I'll show you what we've got. So today I was able to find organic plantain chips and uh, these are tortilla chips that are made out of black beans. And both of these are fantastic substitutions for regular tortilla chips. Um, they fit with a lot of diets and they complement our fresh guacamole. The next item up on our menu is a fresh vegetable platter and tahini ranch. The number of servings for this will vary depending on how many vegetables you pick up at the store. Scott, can you share some of the fun vegetables you've chosen for today? Certainly, Autumn. This is a lot of fun for me. It involves going to a store and looking at the different colors of vegetables, looking at the freshness, looking at um, sort of, you know, tasting with your mind what this is going to taste like. And so today we started off with some basics like celery. Um, it's fall, so it's a good time to find some uh, really, really good cherry onions. I mean, cherry tomatoes of different types. Uh, these are heirloom tomatoes. Uh, this is a uh, cucumber, English cucumber. Um, these are carrots. You get carrots of all different colors this time of year, but these are all carrots. And uh, we have sweet peppers, uh, some green onions cut up, and some organic bell pepper here. Goodbye, boring vegetable platter of the past. Speaking of out with the boring, can you share the dip you're planning to prepare today? So today's dip is a take on ranch dressing. So ranch dressing is typically what's served with a vegetable dip. We decided to come up with something that was a little healthier. So we're gonna use our secret ingredient, which is tahini, which is um, processed roasted sesame seeds. It's really super healthy for you. We are going to add some chives, which are very, very small tops of green onions. We have some fresh dill, lemon juice, Dijon mustard, and some garlic powder. Easy and quick has been your MO today, Scott. Does this next recipe follow the same streak? Absolutely. I like dishes that are really easy to put together and taste like they're not. So we're gonna start with the tahini. And this has like a, almost a peanut butter consistency. And it's going to be the base of our dip today. We're gonna put a little squeeze of lemon in it, just like we have talked about with putting your hand out to make sure you catch all the seeds. And this is going to allow that tahini to loosen up a little bit and be a little bit uh, softer of a texture. We're going to add a little bit of mustard, maybe a little bit more mustard. Give it a little bit of a stir, kind of get it started on the mix up. And then we're gonna add the chives and the dill. I'm 
finish with a little bit of garlic powder. Mix it up really good. And I'm using a fork for this because I'm also trying to mash it just like we did with the guacamole earlier. Get it to a good consistency. A fantastic tahini ranch dip for your vegetable tray. So now we have all of our eggs. We take them and we cut them in half, just like that. We're going to remove the yolk section and put it in a bowl. So it's really, it comes out in whole pieces just like that. We're gonna save this piece. We're gonna fill up the deviled egg with this piece in a little while. Okay, so now we have our yolks and we are going to add some chopped cilantro, little pepper, little salt, We're going to add some tahini, or as we've talked about before, you can substitute hummus, um, another very, very healthy, uh, great substitute for this, but we're going to take some tahini, drop it right in, a little bit more, and then the last ingredient is mayonnaise. And this is what you'll use to get the consistency that you want. You'll start with a little bit, and then you'll grind everything up a little bit, mix it up, and then you'll probably end up adding a little bit more. So now I'm gonna take it with my fork and just mash with a little bit of turmeric goodness. And serve. As mentioned earlier, it's game day. And this next recipe will have your entire family gathered around. Nutritious seven layer dip. It's a healthier take on a game day favorite. Scott, what do we need to complete this recipe? So today's seven layer dip, we are taking organic beans. Um, we are gonna take some uh, fresh Mixed greens, these are actually super greens. They have a lot of kale and, uh, and some very, very nutritious lettuces. Typically this is made with iceberg lettuce that has very little nutritional value. So this definitely adds, adds some nutritional value. We have the guacamole that we made earlier. Um, we're gonna add some yogurt to this dish. Now, plain Greek yogurt, super good for you. It, it's creamy, it's, it gives you everything that you want. Um, we're going to add a little twist to it today. We're going to use this um, coconut living yogurt. We're going to add some extra sharp cheddar cheese. Now, if you wanted to make this a vegan dish, you would make sure that your beans were vegan, uh, which we did. And then you would, instead of cheddar cheese, you would substitute one of these plant-based cheddar cheeses. This one's made of coconut oil. Um, it tastes fantastic. I really think you'd have a hard time discerning a difference out of one full bite of this. It tastes really, really good, and uh, it would be a fantastic vegan dish. Uh, you can use whatever salsas you like. I chose uh, an organic a red salsa, and then also a little salsa verde, just to give it a little bit of a, an interesting flavor. Nutritious seven layer dip. Now this next dish is a personal favorite of mine. It's different than many have seen, but it's packed full of nutrients and flavor. Scott, are we ready to wow them with cauliflower hot wings? I am ready. You're gonna love this dish. It is so unbelievably good and you, you really won't know exactly what you're eating. Um, you start with a greased sheet pan. I grease mine with a spray. Um, just spray it, get it ready. You can go ahead and get your oven heated to 400 degrees and get that ready to go. And then you're going to make basically a batter. And uh, this is made out of milk and water. If you don't want to use milk, you can use um, any coconut milk, almond milk, basically anything that's going to give it a creamy um, consistency. Also a way to make this dish vegan. Um, we're using paprika garlic powder, cumin, salt and pepper, flour, I used organic flour, 
and basically added enough flour to my milk and water and spice mixture until I came up with a batter that drips kind of like a batter. I have taken my cauliflower, I have rinsed it, I have taken the back piece out of it by hand or with a knife, and I have basically cut these down until my pieces are about bite-sized pieces, just like the size of a chicken wing. Now I'm going to take each one of my pieces and dip them in my batter. Be sure to get it really good and mixed all the way around. Let the batter soak up into the cauliflower. When you get it really good and mixed, put it on your grease sheet tray. We're going to put these in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And after 10 minutes, we're going to take them out and we're going to flip them so both sides get golden brown. So when the golden brown wings come out of the oven, we're going to dump them in a bowl and pour a bunch of Frank's Red Hot on it and scoop them all up, get them really, really coated. We're going to put them back on the tray and slide them back into the oven for 10 more minutes and then we're done. Okay, our wings have just come out of the oven. I put it in a bowl and now I'm tossing them with some hot sauce. Make sure you get plenty of coverage and toss them up really, really good. Just get them super coated in the sauce. Now we're gonna put it back on our tray and stick them back in the oven for 10 more minutes and then we will be done. In today's episode, you've learned some amazing appetizers, dishes, healthy, nutritious swaps that you can make for that famous game day, whether it's games on TV that you're watching, football, baseball, basketball, or even having family or friends that are visiting and you're going to be playing a game of Uno or Dominoes. These are great nutritious swaps that you can include that will give your body energy, nutrition, immune boosting, nutrients, vitamins. So as you're looking at these different foods and that we're going to be discussing, keep in mind that food is meant to be enjoyed as fuel and as energy and as ways to support your body to do all of the functions that you may want to do in a day. So we'll go ahead and get started talking about the many nutritious and healthy benefits of the different ingredients that we've worked into our game day foods. Tomatoes are rich in vitamin C, which even just one medium-sized tomato provides 25% of your daily value for what you need for vitamin C. In addition, tomatoes also are a really great source of potassium, which helps regulate body fluids, very high in antioxidants. There's a couple special names of antioxidants that tomatoes have. Lycopene is one specifically that is really good for heart health and preventing cancer. Then quercetin, lutein, and zeaxanthin are also antioxidants that help prevent cataracts, keep your eye health really good, your heart health, and it can actually increase your good cholesterol. So that's good with your lipid profile too. Also, tomatoes contain salicylates, which that is a compound that actually helps prevent blood clot formation. So you wanna make sure that you're working tomatoes in, low in calories, nutrient dense, you still get vitamins, minerals from it, and you get that intense color with those antioxidants. Cilantro is a really healthy herb. It's actually considered herbal medicine. It is that healthy. So working this into our guacamole, it's a good source of potassium and we get calcium from cilantro. It can actually help lower our bad LDL cholesterol while it increases our good HDL cholesterol. Cilantro is considered anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, so that's really great when we are even considering COVID, working cilantro into the dishes that we're making. It can help regulate blood sugar to where your blood sugar will not spike quite as high. And, and it is good for eye health, good for your sight. It has high levels of lutein and zeaxanthine. It is also low in calories, nutrient dense. You get your vitamins, your minerals, very pungent in flavor, um, very fragrant. So you can add that at the end of your cooking process and get all the benefits of cilantro. Lime, so we're gonna add lime into our guacamole and lime is really rich in vitamin C and it also has an essential oil in it called limonene, which is a powerful antioxidant, which is great for lowering that bad cholesterol and helping protect from breast cancer and other types of cancers. Lime actually benefits the liver, gallbladder, kidney, large intestines, and is really good for blood circulation. 
in addition to helping to remove toxins. Onions, so we're gonna add diced onions into our guacamole and onions are also really high in vitamin C. They also are high in chromium, which actually helps our cells regulate their insulin response. So if you have diabetes, onions are a great um, vegetable to add into your foods. Onions are also natural antibiotics. They're also antiviral, antifungal, so really, really good, especially even with COVID going on, that you can work onions into your meal planning so you get that extra boost of immunity. Onions are also a natural anti-inflammatory, so conditions of asthma, arthritis, can actually be improved by adding onions into your diet. And they are a natural antibiotic, so they can actually help with the common cold to help um, the immunity to help with your lungs, to help break down mucus and congestion. Onions are beneficial in that, and it can also help protect against cancers. Tahini or hummus being added into our guacamole. Today I'm specifically gonna talk about tahini and some of the benefits of eating that, but it's full of healthy monounsaturated fats. So tahini being made with olive oil and roasted sesame seeds, you actually get a good source of phosphorus and manganese that is good for our bone health. It can actually help lower our bad LDL cholesterol and our triglycerides. And so we see a decrease in the risk of heart disease. Tahini is also rich in antioxidants. And so you also get the benefit of protecting against cancer by adding tahini into your game day dishes or into your foods at home. It also has antibacterial properties as well as anti-inflammatory properties and it protects the brain, the liver, and your kidneys. So you wanna throw tahini in with your um, meal planning so you can get the most benefit from it. And it's still low in calories, nutrient dense. I know I say that a lot. Avocados, so the superstar of the guacamole show. Avocados are rich in vitamin E content along with vitamin C, B6, folate, iron, potassium, magnesium, loaded with vitamins and minerals. So this is a superfood that you definitely want to work into your game day treats. Um, avocados actually help protect and prevent heart disease. So if you work them in, the magnesium actually helps with your blood pressure. It helps to protect your blood vessels. It's also very high in a monounsaturated fat. And the monounsaturated fats are the healthiest type of fat that you can work into your diet, similar to that of avocado oil, as well as olive oil. So you really wanna work in those monounsaturated fats that actually reduce inflammation, help protect your body against cancer, can boost your immune system. So work in those green avocados. And avocados are high in an antioxidant called lutein. So we've talked about lutein with some of the tomatoes and cilantro, but it actually helps protect your eyes against cataracts, and it can actually help protect against macular degeneration. Cauliflower wings, so these are delicious. I encourage you to try this recipe out as well. So the benefits of cauliflower, it's a cruciferous vegetable and it's high in fiber, but actually really low in calories. So it's great for weight loss. And if you're on a nutrition plan to maybe try to limit your calories. Cauliflower can provide antioxidants and phytonutrients that actually help protect against cancer. And there's also an ingredient in it called choline. And choline can actually give us more restful rest, improve the quality of our sleep, can actually help with learning and our memory function. And cauliflower has B vitamins in it, so that's important for our blood health and for energy. So if you can, enjoy the cauliflower wings. It's nutrient dense, bold in that white color, super great flavor, and you will enjoy that burst and pop when you, enjoy, when you have the cauliflower. So eggs, getting into our deviled eggs for our game day celebration. Eggs are a high protein food and they actually provide all of our essential amino acids for our body to function. So they're very low calorie, nutrient dense. We get protein from the eggs, but we also get additional antioxidants of the lutein and zeaxanthine, which are good for our eye health, good to help um, protect against cataracts, and it can help with our vision and our eyesight. Um, when it comes to eggs, they can actually also be really satisfying and curb your appetite. So when you're at those game days and you're enjoying celebrations, but you maybe don't wanna eat too much, enjoy the high protein deviled egg so that you maybe won't eat as much of the other ingredients, even though they're healthy, you still wanna keep in mind portion control so we don't overeat even while we're still celebrating and having a fun, great time. One of the benefits of eggs, especially if you grab the organic eggs, 
is the omega-3 fatty acids that you get from the egg yolk itself can actually help protect against cancer and also help lower your triglyceride counts. So eggs have many benefits and if you can work them in, they're very nutritious and you get that good pop of protein. It's game time. Let's eat. As mentioned before, educating and providing nutritional information about all of our menu items is one of our primary missions. To find these recipes and more information about the show, please visit nutritiouscommunity.com. Mission Community Nutrition would not be what it is without the support of our kind sponsors. CHI Franciscan, Spectra, City of Federal Way.